Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today you join me for a little bit of supercar shopping. This is something we haven't done on the channel before but it's something I always enjoy doing. Looking around the local dealerships and seeing what they have to offer. And obviously I don't have the budget to be replacing this anytime soon with any sort of supercar but it is still cool to have a little look around and see what they have to offer. So the first dealership we're at today is Lamborghini Leicester and I've heard there are some pretty cool cars inside. So let's go and have a little look around. So we haven't made it inside the dealership yet but have a look what's in the car park. Rosso Mars Performante Spider. As you probably know now, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, I am obsessed with the Performantes and the Performante Spider is definitely a car that I want to get. And in Rosso Mars, this thing looks amazing. Also got the matching red calipers down the side there. And I think this color works really well because it's part of the Tricolore stripe down the side. So it kind of blends in at the bottom. You can't really tell, it's more of a subtle sort of color in relation to that but I am absolutely obsessed with the Puffamante. Incredible car, you can see all the forged carbon at the back as well. If it polarises correctly, there we are. Looking absolutely amazing but like all Lamborghini dealerships, some of the best cars are outside and check out these. So here we have a Urus sat next to an Aventador S. Both of these are similar sort of price if you get them pre-owned or whatever. So the real question is, which one for you? It is a very difficult decision because the Urus is an amazing, capable SUV. Luxury, quite big as well, you can sit four people, whereas the S is more sleek, more defined, quicker as well. They both serve a different purpose, but at a similar price. So which one would you go for? But out of these specs, I am preferring the spec of the Urus, both in black obviously, but this has some very cool green accents on both the calipers and the stitching, if you can see up there. These have grown on me massively. I wasn't too big on the Urus to start with, but if the arches match the body color, I think it really works. This Aventador S is all black with the silver wheels, and it's got a similar sort of style with the brake calipers matching the stitching there as well but this is just outside, so let's go inside and check out what they have in the dealership. They honestly have some crazy cars in that dealership and really nice people as well for letting us have a little look around. The SVJ is insane. That's the second one we've seen inside a dealership and the third one that I've seen in total. And they grow on me every time. I still think it's a completely pointless Lamborghini. They have an amazing Lamborghini range of Aventadors already. So it's really hard to see how the SVJ actually fits into that. But it's still a very cool car to see. I am a big fan of the design. But anyway, that is not it for the dealership hunting. We're gonna to go to a different dealership now and check out what's there. Right, we've just arrived at Porsche Centre Leicester. I really hope there are some good cars on display. I'm not as big a fan of Porsches and I haven't heard of what cars are in the dealership, so hopefully it's a good surprise. Check out this Boxster GTS in arguably one of my favorite colors, crayon. It looks so good on all Porsches in my opinion, especially with the black accents down the bottom here. But what's interesting about this car is that it has no center locks. If we look down on the wheels there, so I'm guessing this has not been prepped yet for sale, but it does look very, very cool sat here. Definitely not one of the best cars in the dealership, but it does look very, very good in this spec. <laughs>
personally, I'm just not that big on Porsche compared to Lamborghini. So going into the Lamborghini dealership, it was a lot more impressive compared to here, but still some cool cars on display if you are a Porsche fan. I hope that I managed to capture those in a light that you would have liked, because for me, it's very difficult to capture a car that I'm really not that keen on in a good way. But anyway, I really hope that you have gone on to enjoy today's video. It's been nice to have a little look around the local dealerships and see what it has to offer. There's still plenty more dealerships that we can look at in the local area, so if you did enjoy it, please do let me know. We just didn't have time to get to them today. I'm pretty sure that by the time we get there, they'll be closed. But it also leaves plenty of opportunity in the future to check out a few more dealerships. So anyway, I hope you have gone on to enjoy today's video. If you have, please make sure to smash it a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.